All right, you guys, so tonight, we're actually going to learn how to paint with one of my good friends, Anthony Ricciardi. This is his house. Uh, this is where he lives. If you guys want to know, I just dox him, so you guys can definitely come here. But we're going to check him out, see if he can help me how to paint. We are here to celebrate the work of Anthony Ricciardi. He traded the world of finance for a career in art. It's been a whirlwind year for Canadian artist Anthony Ricciardi. We're here with Anthony Ricciardi. My name is Anthony Ricciardi. I am a Toronto-based artist. Right, yeah, so but so yeah, I'm I'm with my good friend Anthony here, artist, and I'm gonna learn how uh, to paint. Really, I mean, uh, doing art is something that I've always enjoyed, and since I have a good friend that knows how to do things, I mean, why not take advantage of it? Hey man. Yeah. Here. So. Oh. Put your canvas, bro. Nice. Since you're an artist, what's some of your favorite like people that do art? Um. I have a lot of favorite artists. I think my uh, my number one favorite would be Basquiat for his innovative like style. From so taking something from like the street, like the graffiti esque writing with quotes and you know certain things like that, and bringing it into like a museum quality uh, piece of art. Um, Warhol for his iconic you know imagery and what he was able to do for pop culture in terms of art. Uh, my favorite is Julian Schnabel, who was an artist that initially got famous by taking broken plates, putting them onto like, wooden canvases, and then painting like a uh, portraitry over the broken plates, which is really, really, really fun. And then there's, I mean, the list goes on. That's nice, man. Like, the, you said graffiti, so there's this one artist named Banksy. You know what's crazy is I actually know who Banksy is. Do yeah. you? Yeah, I met him. So, uh, here, I, I'll describe him for you. Maybe, you, I, I don't know if you know, maybe you've seen him around. He actually lives in this area. Um, so he's a shorter Italian man. Um, a really? little stockier. Um, he, one time I was at a bar with him and these people were, were getting a little bit rambunctious and, and stuff like that. And one of his friends was there and, and basically like he was talking bad to his friends. So they tried to leave the bar but Banksy came back in and he looked at the guy and he stabbed him with a pen. And then he threw him to the ground and he just started kicking him. <laughs> you're you're um, describing Joe Pesci in the movie Goodfellas. I don't, I don't know who, <laughs> it's not, I don't not know Banksy. who that is. It's not Banksy. Um, yeah, but I mean, dude, like you have great artwork and one of the things that I've noticed is like in the background of your pieces, you put lyrics to songs. Yeah. Uh, what, why do you do that? Is it like stuff that inspires you? Yeah, I think I use it like as an inspirational tool and then also to like add depth to things or my, um, my images and my paintings. That's, that's super cool. I mean, that's something that I want to, I want to do actually. I mean, can I, I'm going to, I want to just try it. Get you a marker to do? Yeah. Do you yeah, have a marker? I, I, use I, wanna, oil, I just want to try I use it out. Paint. Cause I think it's super cool to yeah, do something sure. like that. Oh, that would work. Yeah. Cool. Cause and it's like songs that inspire you. Stuff that's like for sure, and it makes you happy. So yeah. like I'm gonna try and, and think of a song that actually goes that way. Yeah. With arms wide open. Yeah, that's it. You ever heard of that song? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, it goes like this. With arms wide open. It's a good song. It's a good song. Um, that's something that would inspire me. Who sings that song? Ah, uh, Creed. Great, Creed. great band. Great band. I really like incorporating stuff like that into it, dude. But there's something like I learned out in the streets. It's a secret. It's its secret image. I don't know. Uh, very few people know about it. Do you know what I'm talking about? I think you should incorporate stuff like this into your your secret image. Secret image? It's a secret image. It's crazy. You it's mind blowing. Bank screen? Banksy? Yes, bank screen. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna show you what it is. Okay. Okay. So what you do is you start with a couple lines here, right? And then what you do is you start with another couple lines here. Alright? You see what I'm doing here? Do you see what's going on here? Yeah. So what you do is you connect these two lines here. That? And then you go here and then That's this. just an S. That's just like, that's one of the oldest things in the book. Like, everyone does that. I don't think so. I used to do it on my Well, that's just the first part of it. I don't... The second part of it That's not the is secret? A, no, this is the secret. Yeah, so this, this is, this is the imagery that I'm talking about. It's like a, it's like a shuriken. It's like a shuriken. Like one of those ninja stars. It's, it's super sick. You, you just did four S's. 
No, that's not true. Dude, I know, like, this is sick, dude. You put you put the stuff behind it in the background. This is me. I know it's amazing. I know it's mind-blowing. But there's something else, like, you do with a lot of your things. I mean, a lot of artists, they, they put, like, their name on it. Like, they put, like, it, but it's like an alias of their name, you know? It's not like, oh, yeah, Logan. Signature. It's like your signature. It's like, you're cool. Do you think you could, like, do your signature on sure. this? Yeah. That's, see that's a dope signature, man. I want to have something like that. What, how did you, I mean, why is it's that Rich your signature? Is, my last name is Rich Charlie. Okay. So it's like a pretty, it's like a play on words. Play on words. It's like a play on words. You know? Yes. So, I need to, I need to come up with an alias. Okay. So, I just need to think of something like a play on words or something like that. Or something cool. Like, but, that one guy's like, Alec Monopoly. Mm -hmm. What if I called myself, Noggle Red the Great. Noggle, Red, the Great. Yes. That's just L Logan Dyer backwards. What? It's pretty it's sick. Not good. It's pretty sick, no. right? It's pretty sick, right? It's pretty sick. How would even look? Here. It's pretty Show me sick, how you right? Look. Let's see how you're yeah, yeah. So, What is it? Noggle? N. Wow, I'm not good with spray paint. <laughs> how do I spell my name? You spell it for me. Dude, how can you? That's sick! <laughs> no, go That's right. sick! You should just do that around the city. I'm gonna start tagging everything! <laughs> I really appreciate you, like, doing this for me. Like, now I get a better understanding of, like, creating things. Okay. Like, I mean, you do that you your entire life. You gotta practice at home, man. Yeah. When you get home, well, I mean, practice, do it on the streets. Look just at like, this place. Like, this is yeah. where you practice. Yeah, this is where I practice. Hey, I think I'm just gonna start tagging everywhere. Yeah. It's not illegal, right? I don't think so. Okay. Dude, but I really do appreciate Thanks, it, man. man. Really, Thanks, hey, man. keep doing you, man. Bro, bro, what are you doing? I can, I can see you. Oh. <laughs>